Howdy, everybody. How's it going? No, it's still breaking up. It's. I'm going to try to record this, but it's. Um, it's a, it seems like it's a little out of sync. Maybe there's too much traffic or something, but I'm going to keep talking anyway. Anyway, I hope you guys are doing fine. This is our last lecture for our semester um, in 2021. The pandemic year. Virtual reality school. Anyway, I hope you guys are finishing all those papers up. I'm trying to grade everything. I've had a bunch of panic, panicky emails wondering about the grades. Well, if you did the assignments and you did okay in the assignments, you'll do okay. You lose a couple assignments, it's a lot of points to lose. And the grade could go down fast. Anyway, um... I hope this is coming through to you guys because it looks like crap on my computer. So, but I'm going to keep yakking away anyway. Uh, so maybe you can at least hear it. You don't need to really see me. Um, yeah, school ends then the Friday, but everything's due this Wednesday because I, I did that on purpose. Um, so it's not all doing the last day. You have a bunch of other classes you're taking. And everything's due. Uh, you could get it in on the last day, but you'll be lose some points for being late. I mean, it's going to take me at least a solid seven days to grade everything. So don't um, don't contact me about your final grade. I'll be working on it for a week. So anyway, um, the you know we've gone the gamut from trip to the moon to Star Wars to Five Easy Pieces to independent films of the 90s. We didn't, you know, musicals. We didn't really cover a lot of the brand new stuff because current cinema is unfolding every day. It's changing. Uh, last week I did cover uh, No Man Land, um, which won the Academy Award. And... I will ask, I asked this last week, but I kind of know the answer. Did you go see it? Have you seen No Man Land? Would you want to see it? Is it your cup of tea? Old people living in vans out in the desert. Is that something you want to look at? Uh, should you see it? Absolutely. Uh, is it going to sweep you off your feet with sound effects and guys flying around with tight shirts and punching people and superheroes and comic book type of dialogue, black and white issues. No, it's an art film, plain and simple. Um, there's a great quote from Macbeth. His, if you know the play by Shakespeare, his Macbeth has committed these horrible murders. His wife has pushed him into it in a way. Lady to Macbeth. And now she's so she's gone she's gone insane over the crimes they've committed, and now she's taken her own life. She, now Macbeth probably can't live without her, and he has a nice monologue. I'm just they don't call it monologue soliloquy, um, or he addresses the audience. He said, "This has been a tale told by an idiot, full of sound and fury." signifying nothing. He's lost. He doesn't know what his life is anymore. Well, that's how I kind of look at new cinema. Lots of sound and fury signifying nothing. Um, I the other day I mentioned that maybe the comic book thing is played out. And it's not because I'm just this older generation who prefers films with substance like Bergman's films or Five Easy Pieces or whatever, the ones I've been talking about all this time. I think it's your generation now. It's coming up. What's the future? It's up to you. Is it TikTok? Really? You want to see a two-hour TikTok video? Is that the new cinema? Would you be amused for two hours? 
YouTube video. We have the ways and means to make films at our fingertips with a cell phone. And now you can edit on the cell phone and you can upload to YouTube. You can be a filmmaker overnight. Are you going to bore people? Or are you going to do something insightful and meaningful and that represents your place in the world? And that's the future of cinema right there. Your place in the world and commenting on that place of the world. And the world that we're living in right now is pretty volatile, pretty interesting. It's not peaceful. We've got wars and tragedies happening right now in Palestine and Israel. We've got corruption in our government here. We've got Black Lives Matter. We have hate towards the other. Racism. There's a lot going on. So now it's time to make movies about it. Yes, it's a good time. And when the times are volatile, some good films can be made. I always tell you guys to write strong, write honest, write the truth. Not so easy. Not so easy. But to be to make a successful film, you better do the you better think about that. And it's not an easy thing to do because a lot of people don't want to really they're uncomfortable with the truth. When you watch No Man Land, there's some scenes that you're uncomfortable with because it's too lifelike. A lot of you, I've written your, read your papers about Bergman's um, persona, and a lot of you embraced it, and a bunch, a lot didn't. You thought it was too weird. You thought the images didn't make any sense, or they're random. And they weren't random, by the way. Nothing random about that movie. Bergman was very meticulous in what he wanted to depict and show. But I would say this, perhaps they made you uncomfortable because you didn't understand it completely. You didn't understand what he was trying to do with those images. And that's fine. It's a complicated film. And you need to keep looking at it and looking at it. And it will enrich the viewing experience the more you look at it. And you will start to see that nothing's random. Nothing. So holding the mirror up to the culture and making a film about it is not easy. How do you do that and make it, I hate to say it, entertaining? Well, that's the key to it. That's the key to a successful cinema. Is you could take an event That's tragedy, like there's a new series right now called The Underground Railroad. That's grim. About slaves trying to go from the south to the north. We're not talking about popcorn movie here, folks. We're talking about kind of a grim history lesson that we all should know about. It's that important. I just saw a great documentary on Ernest Hemingway. Maybe you don't know who that is. He was a 20th century writer. Some people say the greatest writer, not novelist. Uh, I don't agree with that personally, but uh, the documentary is definitely fascinating. He changed the way we think about novelists, that's for sure. Um, He changed the way we think about novelists. Bergman changed the way we think about films. Goudard changed everything. Peckinpah changed everything. Fellini changed things. Who's changing things now? 
I mean, I'm talking about change here. Well, the woman who did No Man Land, that's a change. There's some cutting edge filmmakers. They're not making huge budgeted comic book stories. They're making stories that might be uncomfortable because they're, they're holding up a mirror to who we are. Now, has all has film has always been that way? Well, I believe so. Charlie Chaplin's kid is not all that funny. He could just be funny, flat out, but he put in some human drama and pathos in there, and that's what makes it relevant, even to this day. That's why you could go back and watch a silent film by Abel Gans, the great French filmmaker, and you can see reflections of who we are now in his films in the 20s, 90 years ago, almost 100 years ago. Technology changes, people don't. Politics change, people don't. Lifestyles change, people don't. We're all seeking the same transcendence. We're all seeking the same place in the world. We're all seeking some sort of meaning in our life, whether it's meaning through art or relationships or family or nature. We'd like to think we're here for a purpose. I hope you think you're here for a purpose. Because now is a great opportunity to go out in the world and make new cinema. And you don't need to have millions and millions of dollars. Just tell an interesting story. And be truthful. Easy. So I look at YouTube a lot. Um, I've up uploaded some stuff on YouTube. Um, little clips of films I made. Um, and it gets views. You don't get paid. But like with music right now, it's hard to find how to get paid when you upload everything for free. It's a new world we live in. But you can't express yourself and you can find a platform and an audience. And you can never do that before. You'd have to have your movie play in a movie theater somewhere. And that was rare. Now the movie theaters are at our fingertips, right there. Hope you got something out of this class. I know it's been tough not being in the class. Uh, never got to know you at all, besides through your papers. I've had a couple Zoom meetings, that's it. Um, I hope you look at, go to the, take this class and build on it. Build on it. Keep educating yourself. Education never stops. I was still going to college, grad school, when I was 50. It never stops. Unless you stop. Keep learning. Keep expanding your knowledge, because knowledge is power. Plain and simple. If you know something the other person doesn't, that makes you more powerful. And in this world where people just want instant gratification, instant messages, instant social dating, um, go a little deeper. Walk away from that trend, the trendy crown. Don't be a sheep and follower. Make your own, your own 
road. It's your life. It's your vision. It's your story. And it's valuable. I hope I've done something to inspire you guys. Besides just to watch movies for entertainment. I hope you see now that there's a lot more to it than just sheer entertainment or time killers. It's it's an art form that takes a village to succeed. Do you look forward to the next movie you want to watch? Do you know what it is? Do you read reviews? Do you seek it out? How do you find out about a movie that you want to see? Keep seeking those sources out. The pandemic has closed everything down, but things are starting to open up again. I believe by this summer, we'll see what happens if everybody gets vaccinated. Movie theaters are starting to open again. I'm tired of looking at my TV. I just watched another new movie last night. I was barely amused. Um, I, I enjoyed going to the movie theater, sitting on the big screen, but that's how I was raised. There's a lot going on in the world you need to contribute to. Make your statements. Make your films. I know this isn't a filmmaking class. I wish it was. Because that can inspire you, inspire you to um, make cinema, which I hold near and dear. And I have all my life. I'm not giving up on that. I'm making a documentary right now. And I'm trying to be creative with it. I'm not trying to bore the audience. It's going to take me a year to finish it. I got nothing else to do. I will be teaching at Shasta College through 2022. We'll see what happens. I hope you guys know how valuable your input is. Don't stand by this wayside and get swept along. Resist. Resist group think. Think on your own. Read books. Watch movies. Listen to cool music. And be uncomfortable. It's okay. It all doesn't have to be neatly tied up. We saw that in Persona. It doesn't have to have all the answers. It's okay to present more questions. It's not the purpose of cinema or art to answer all the questions. The great writer Flannery O'Connor, who used to teach writing at the Iowa City Iowa workshop, when people would ask her about, well, what does this mean in your book? What does that mean? And she said, you know, as a writer, and I will say this about filmmakers also, because I am both, and I believe in both fervently, that it, as our job as a writer or a filmmaker, it is our, not our purpose to solve the mystery. But it is our purpose to deepen the mystery. Deepening the mystery means you're You're equating thinking in there. Critical thinking, what I've been trying to tell you guys all this semester, to critically look at things. And that doesn't mean to criticize. That means to critically look at things in a fair and honest way. And the more you do that, the more you'll become expert at it. I'm going to watch, I'm going to assign one more video for you guys to watch. You don't have to watch it. I don't know if you guys even watch these videos. I know we're on the last day. Uh, Robert, Robert Rodriguez was an independent filmmaker, came up in the 90s. He, he directed 
El Mariachi for seven thousand dollars. You know how you got this seven thousand dollars? Seven thousand dollars, folks. That's all. All that is is buying film stock. And nobody got paid. And this is a guy who was in film school, and his teacher said, "You'll never be a director. Do something else." And so he tried to prove them wrong, and he made this movie for seven thousand dollars called El Mariachi. Maybe I mentioned it before, but now I'm going to have you watch his 10-minute film school. Now, it's a little old because this is before people started shooting everything on YouTube, on their cell phones. So he's still talking about video cameras and film cameras, uh, but it's not, but the advice is still strong. It's called a 10-minute film school. He comes in, he says, I could teach you everything you need to know to make a movie in 10 minutes. And here we go. And uh, he gave back to the film community. Now, he became very successful later on. He directed movies with Tar Quentin Tarantino, Grindhouse, and um, Dust Till Dawn. And then he did sequel, uh, Spy Kids. Maybe you saw that. That's him. And so um, he's glad he didn't take his film teacher's advice about you never make it as a director. Film teacher was wrong. When people tell you you're not going to make it as whatever you want to do, walk away from them. Don't listen to them. That's their issues, not yours. You got to be strong. When I was trying to make a movie 30 years ago, people said, "If you don't, don't spend your own money. Don't do it. Don't do this. Do this way. Do that way." I didn't listen to any of them. And we got our movie made, and it played all over the country. Walk away from the no, people who say no. You know, we don't have time for it. You go, thank you for your input, out. I'm going another direction. You want to have people say, sounds interesting. What do we do? So for it to sound interesting, you've got to be interesting. So you got to work on that one. So go look at this thing on Canvas, 10-minute film school. That'll end the process of this class. Um, think about all the stuff we've gone through in this class. Hope you got something out of it. I know we kind of left the book behind a bit because um, I was not in class with you guys because uh, I never saw how many of you bought the book. And so it's okay. I kind of went away from it. Um, there's a lot involved. And there's so much more I could do this class, literally this class, this same class for another six months and still not cover what I'd like to cover. This is what they call a survey class. You spend a couple hours on each film genre and you move on. So I hope you got a quick survey of cinema in 20th century America, 21st century, the world. Hope you weren't bored. You probably were. Hope you were perhaps saw some inspiration. And you could put to use. That's the best we can hope for is in education. Hope you accomplish your dreams. You deserve it. But you got to earn it. And you got to work for it. Nobody's going to hand it to you. No one will hand it to you. Keep pushing through. Don't give up. And don't get waylaid by the negative culture we live in. Because then you're lost and they've won. All my life, I've been fighting against they. And you know who they are. <laughs> you know who they are. They are the naysayers, the people who want you to behave a certain way. They might have the best intentions. But hopefully you, have, you know the best intentions for yourself. That's it. That's it. We've done the class. 
this will be my last lecture. If it's not in the your last assignment, which is the the journal reflection, it's okay. <laughs> I don't expect it to be because I'm just doing it tonight on Tuesday, and the journal's doing a cup. Uh, I think it's due tomorrow. Anyway, put it in the journal. Put it dot. I want to hear your thoughts in the journal. And I'm teaching another humanities class in the summer. It's not this one. Take it. Come along for the ride. Come along for the journey. All right. That's it for the spring 2021, the pandemic spring. We survived. We're making it. It's going to get better, folks. And just remember, everything is cinema. <laughs>